family and friends of Leticia were at the hearing, hoping to come face to face with the man last seen with her for the first time. But for the second day, they walked away disappointed. It's my understanding that he has refused uh, to um, come to court today. For a second day in a row, 46-year-old Brett Gitchell was a no-show in court, refusing to appear at his bond trial Saturday afternoon after waiving his right to appear in court Friday. Our friends and family, everybody is you know, obviously overwhelmed. And Friends of Leticia hoping for more answers because while Gitchell hasn't been charged, he's been in police custody since Thursday after a series of events connected him to her disappearance. Gitchell reportedly told police he didn't know Leticia, but later admitted he was at the Mariners game with her. Police say the author of several text messages from her phone the morning after the game, Sunday, April 1st, can't be verified. Court documents also reveal Gitchell reportedly kidnapped and strangled Leticia's adult son after luring him out of their home early that morning. She was so determined to be able to, you know, uh, get into a bigger home for her and her son. Her son managed to escape, but her car was found hours later on fire. On Friday, the judge found probable cause for kidnapping, assault, theft, attempted murder and unlawful possession of a firearm. All of us that love her so much, you know, her friends and family, we are just um, so hopeful that we find her, we find her safe and we can bring her home. Now we learn probable cause will be heard on Monday. Again, Gitchell has not been charged, but King 5 is deciding to name him and show his picture because police are actively still uh, looking for Leticia. She is described as having green eyes, brown hair, and being about 5'9". Police are asking anyone with information about her whereabouts or this case to call them. For now, reporting live here in Seattle, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News.